Danger Worm by Andrea Kazmarek Worms live underground. They live in the earth and they tunnel all day long. Worms are happy with their life in the soft brown earth. Worms help to make the earth good for flowers, grass and plants to grow. So we are happy with worms too. It's better to stay underground, Papa Worm always told his children. There are dangers for worms up there. What dangers? Little Worm wanted to see the sun, the flowers, the world. Dangers, that's all Papa Worm ever said. He told the little worms to stay underground and play and tunnel all day long. I don't believe in dangers, Little Worm decided. So Little Worm peeped out and looked up at the bright blue sky. So lovely and not brown. Little Worm was happy, but then... A big black bird swooped down. Oh no, danger! Little Worm tunnelled back down as fast as she could. Papa Worm shook his head. Number one danger is birds, Little Worm. I told you so. Little Worm decided that he had never mentioned birds at all. So she decided to try again. Little Worm peeped out and looked at the green grass all around. She heard a funny noise. Croak. Croak, croak. What is that funny green thing? Little Worm smiled. But the green frog hopped nearer. Little Worm tunnelled back down as fast as she could. Number two danger, that's frogs. Papa Worm shook his head. Little Worm decided to watch out for birds and frogs. And then she tunnelled back up into the green field. This time the field was clear. No birds, no frogs. But she heard happy children playing. I've heard about children, Little Worm smiled. They don't eat worms, so I'm safe. But children can't see tiny worms as they run and jump and play. Whoops! Little Worm saw a big boot coming her way. She tunnelled back down as fast as she could. Number three danger, that's children, Papa Worm told her. They don't look where they're going and they just don't see worms. I think I'll stay here, Little Worm decided. When night came, she started to feel brave. No birds, no frogs and no children at night, so no danger. Little Worm tunnelled up to the green field yet again. So pretty, with stars and the bright moon. She smiled and no danger in sight. Then a big bright owl swooped down, his eyes shining bright in the night. Little Worm tunnelled back down as fast as she could. Danger number four Owls. Papa Worm shook his head. There are far too many dangers for little worms up there. Why don't you just stay put? But Little Worm wanted to spend just a little time in the grassy field. I love that blue sky, those pretty flowers, the moon and the stars. It's not fair that I just can't take a peep. Papa Worm was thinking. There is a good time for worms, just before the early morning. The owls are sleeping, the frogs and birds are sleeping and the children are dreaming in their beds. That's the best time, between night and early morning, no danger time. So that's just what Little Worm did. She tunnelled up just between night and day. The moon was still bright, the fireflies were buzzing and the early morning sun was just around the corner. Perfect. Little Worm smiled and looked up at the very late night sky. No danger, just little sparkling fireflies to keep me company. End. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.